Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove, and I felt like checking in. Yeah, I've been filming so much, but I haven't really checked in with you guys. So I'm working on that project, um, 25 Things in 25 Days in June, which I have completely filmed. And I now have, in my mind, I want to do the whole month of June, which is 30 days, which is like eight, no, 750 things. And I thought, well, let's just round up to 800, which would be two more. And then, um, <coughs> Claire's, I think that's when I did, I changed Claire's water. Um, anyway, let me show you my Claire over there. She's finishing up her snack after breakfast. I tell you, having an animal just makes everything so much better. It really does. And then my thought was, let's do a thousand. A thousand in June, probably, because I'm on a roll, but I'm also tired. I kind of hit a wall yesterday. Uh, you know, it's a combination of grief, dealing with that, and I guess grief about work, you know, or just the, is exhausting, you know, doing all the packing and stuff, and then going to a new branch, which is going to be fine, but it's just different right it's just so different it's just all you know different energies when do I have lunch right where do I have lunch in my library there weren't that many people so I was completely fine in the kitchen with my mask off having lunch so uh, I don't know it's just is just stuff right make sure you're on time and you know that kind of stuff which I am actually an on-time kind of person but been slipping a little bit because when we were just packing we didn't have to be there to open to the public at a certain time but yeah, and I really want to start this, um, just, it's like a smoothie green cleanse, just because I'm tired and I've been having more sugar than I've had in months. And I think it started out, well, it started with Angela, but then at work, um, you know, I start making Angela things and I have a little bit, a little bit. And then at work, there's just been food nonstop. And I'm, a couple of days were so boring because we just had to wait, sit around and wait and, um. So like it was funny, all of us were kind of like marching back to the kitchen, but I, I really has made me not feel good, which I have tons of energy, don't feel good, draw me in. So yeah, so I thought, gosh, I haven't really checked in. So I thought I would do that. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to like, give myself a break because I think, wow, you've done so much, but you haven't done what you wanted to do. And this, that's not true, 100%. But visually right now everything is out and I just need to go um, start my room and get my laundry sorted and I only need to do one or two loads and I got I've been filming my um, jewelry which has been so much fun just such a good experience and I hope you guys enjoy it um, and you see it and I need to it's like make some photos and put all that back. So there's just literally piles everywhere. I got tons of stuff to bring downstairs. I have to unload car, my car from work, so I need to put those things places. But it's always like a step. Like there's one area in my garage I need to, to let stuff go. It's basically old newspapers and stuff that I had for when Oscar was here. So it's just like I have to dig out all my snow shovels, that kind of thing. I got to get all those hung up. It wasn't it's not a big area, and I've got that mostly done. Now I just have to go, and anything I pack for the library that's going back, I just want to store there and know where it is. So that's going on. And, yeah, I just am tired. But it makes sense, right? It makes sense. Plus, I've been eating crap. And, you know, even if I'm not eating huge amounts of crap, it's crap, and it makes my body feel bad. So part of the reason I want to do this smoothie thing is just, you know, I was reading about feeding your body nutrients, and she's done it in a way that, you know, she's like, try to stick to the recipes I've given you, so, because each thing does something else. So, um, yeah, I was going to start, like, Thursday, and now here it is, Monday, and I don't have the stuff, but I did clean out a lot of my refrigerator, freezer. So I need to do that again, just do another riff, really get rid of stuff. And, um, you know, get my fruits and vegetables and just start. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not talking about it. I don't know. Now my thinking is tomorrow do I want to start <coughs> my first day. But then it would be, you know, I can make, tomorrow I can just make a smoothie and have it all day. I still have food. Maybe tradition, transition to Thursday. 
just doing the smoothie. Excuse me, you guys. Oh, but yeah, it's beautiful here. And in my mind, I wanted my whole, <clears throat> my expectations are so out of whack from time and energy level. It's really, but I, I know that now. <coughs> and um, today was my last coffee for a while. So I'll be having a little black tea, kind of transitioning to detoxing tea. There's this peach detox tea I got. Um, so that's going to be painful for a couple days. But I can live without coffee. I'm out of my favorite coffee and I thought, I'm out of my favorite like oat cream, I might just don't buy it. And then, you know, you're not tempted. Because I tried another coffee and it made me sick because it's just not the right coffee. I think I'm gonna give all that to the food bank so I don't even have it. That might be a good idea. Yeah, and then, um, so let's see, so today's Monday. I'm going to, as I call it, putting out little fires everywhere, which is just pick up where it, stuff and put it where it should be. And, um, I have some uh, YouTube homework to do, like plotting and planning and checking on myself. And like, because something like this, I've done so many that if I don't have it kind of written down and I go back, and it makes it so much harder for myself. So I've been pretty good about it. So I'm going to do the last couple I did. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, yeah, it's just a lot. I had breakfast with a, really, a friend that she and I and Mimi were really good friends and we just sort of parted and Mimi and I remained friends and she and Heather remained friends and um, for many reasons, but you know, Mimi always wanted us to come back together, but we live far apart and we just have different lives, you know, and, but when Mimi, I, you know, I learned how Mimi died and I did, a, I don't know if you guys ever, some of you probably saw the vlog I did about it for Heather to explain what had happened my you know what I what my experience was with it all and um, I think I took it down now it was really meant for Heather uh, so yeah we met and we have it was nice it was comfortable it you know we would both grown up so much and have changed and um, you know whatever it was we were holding against each other we just sort of you know we'd already talked that out right after he died so it was nice it was really fun um, it felt fresh and familiar which is always a good thing yeah, so I had a nice afternoon. We met for, um, we were meeting at a diner. We get there and we're in the middle of nowhere, kind of halfway between where we live. And um, they were only doing takeout. So we got takeout. We found a place, you know, Heather found a place for us. So we had a little park. We just sat in, we're a little green, the chair, and ate and talked, 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 and got a coffee. So it was lovely. It was. But when I came home, I did like about half hour in my garage and then I just crashed and I had so much more planned. And it's like, so I think, okay, right now is the work. The work isn't the decluttering and letting go or hauling this and making plans. The work is when I start to feel crappy about it, like I haven't done enough, I'll never do enough, I will never get out of this, that's the work right there. That's the piece that's the most important and that's the piece I need to sit with and start, you know, digging down and digging down you know, Heather and I, when we were talking, uh, you know, try to catch up in 15 years. <laughs> but we did, I swear. I did, um, when my mom died, you know, I've always, I've been in and out of therapy my whole life because it's expensive and, you know, and sometimes when you're getting, um, you know, like I said, I've had therapy, you know, free therapy or based on what you could afford and sometimes, you know, it's different. Not, I mean, I can remember my very first free one, kind of, or you, know, you paid on a sliding scale. She was so upset for me. Um, so it, you know, it's just, but anyway, I found a, a really good therapist and we've worked together for a long time and I never feel like going back. It's just, I, I learned so much from him. It's all been about putting it and living it. And you know, he really did give me a good foundation and he gave me things that I use all the time. But when my mom died, I knew I needed help because I knew this was huge and it was different maybe than a lot of people losing their mom in the sense that we lived together most of my life. And um, I helped her, but yeah, it, was, it kept me safe and not growing and maybe doing the things, you know, that you should do around those ages. So there's a lot of me that just was not explored. And I didn't want to shut down and be afraid of that and just sort of um, get lost in it. So I got a grief therapist. I liked her a lot. And we did this EMT stuff. I can never remember all the acronyms. It's really cool. 
You know, but we did, like I told her, I don't want to be here long. I want to really just transition through. You know, there's some hard stuff to cope with and family stuff. Like, I just want to move through and come out of this the best I can. Um, and I did. But this thing where it's, it's, I can't, it's hard to explain because, but you, there's something you watch this and she asks you questions and you, you don't, you can't even like, what was hard about this particular thing is you can't control it. If you're in your head thinking, oh my God, what am I supposed to say? And don't let yourself spontaneously, spontaneously say, and that's the point of this. It, it's supposed to engage part of your mind. So if you don't do that, it's not useful in a sense, you know, it, and it's really challenging for me. I feel, I feel like I still, every day struggle with, is this the right answer? Is this the right thing to do? I do, it's the truth. I, I overcome that mostly. But it's still there. I don't see how that will ever go away, maybe, until I'm very old. But um, it's there, you know. And I think I used to feel like a failure because I had that in me, right? Like, that even though I wanted to do that, even though I didn't do it, then I failed. And that, I think, is true of so many things. But I've really learned to understand thoughts are thoughts. They're not actions. They're not actions, you know. Um, they have the power you give them. You know, and my God, how many, the statistics on how many thoughts we think in like a day, much less a, a minute, an hour. So that's the work for me is that piece of it. Not what I accomplish or don't accomplish, how I treat myself in the process. Even if I'm accomplishing a lot, am I taking breaks? Am I checking in with myself? You know, am I stretching? Am I giving myself what I need? You know, or am I on a train heading to crazy town? Full of junk in my train. <laughs> I can see myself like on this train, all kinds of good, I mean, it's just like full to the brim, full to the brim. People hanging out, slow down, slow down. <sighs> so I'm learning to control the train better. I pretty much think I am, but it's a train nonetheless, y'all. And it's like I don't know quite how to get things done without getting on that train, like. Control just normal energy. I don't know. I'm figuring this out. I am. But, you know, loving myself while I'm figuring it out. It was a tough night last night. And plus, I had eaten stuff that wasn't good for me. I finally, I, like, I couldn't settle into what I wanted to eat. So, I had um, a little cheese, apple, and some meat and wine. And that was perfect for me. And there's part of me who, okay, eat up some of this stuff because you're going to be doing this thing. I'm like, okay, well, number one is 10 days. And, um... Again, I think because I've just been forced my whole life to be on diet and failed and failed and failed and failed. And the part of me has gone wild. Like, what the hell do you think you're doing? Well, what? No, we're not doing that. We're sick of people telling us that. I'm like, no, 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 this is different. It's really truly about feeling good. Like waking up and feeling good. Not every joint in my body hurting. And that's from gluten and sugar. Sugar is a bitch. It just is. It's a chemical. And I was, um, if you guys on Instagram follow Dr. Hyman, um, that's my friend Beverly's pretend boyfriend. But, you know, I saw this thing and he goes, cancer cells love sugar. Love it. Hmm. Cancer cells love sugar. So if every time I'm eating, and you know, and there's times you're celebrating or something special is going on and you eat something yummy. But when you're at home by yourself and, um, oh, you guys, hold on. Come on, baby, come on. Can you make it up? I have stuff everywhere. My girl can't get up. Okay. There you go. Oh, goodness me. There's Clara Johnson. Look at my table, y'all. Now it's sad, but she kind of likes the, oh, there she is. There she is. Can you say hi, everyone, sis? Oh. Is that okay? Hold on. I don't want anything hitting in you. Okay. Yeah, she's so jealous when I talk. So, yeah, that's my thinking. Sugar feeds cancer cells. So, that every time I'm eating, like, just popping an M&M or having a bite of this or that, I don't really like it. Like, it's not special. I don't sit down and, and, and tune to it. Just pop it or have a quick drink of Dr. Pepper, or I've had more Sprite lately, not a lot, but I've had more, I don't feel good about it, or like I had an iced coffee yesterday that I didn't drink most of it, and the day before I went and got myself a nice big old iced coffee, and I haven't done that in a while. And again, there's nothing wrong with that per se, but when you're adding other stuff to it, 
and it just sets it sets everyone's brain off, right? Anyone who's going to eat sugar, it makes you crave sugar. I mean, I'm not I'm not special. I know, I know, sis. So these are just my thoughts I'm sharing. And it's funny because I thought, okay, I'm going to film my whole thing with the 10-day um, smoothie green cleanse, cleanse. And then I thought, well, I don't have to air it until I'm done. <laughs> when it's all nice and done and I feel like I've accomplished something. I'm like, you know, that's not the point. Try to see that. So that is a red flag to me that you're already plotting. You're not going to do well. And you don't want to, like, show that on, you know, to 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 my my tribe and that's just opposite maybe struggling through that with you guys is what will help me be kind of complete what I want to what I'm choosing to complete what nobody's telling me I have to complete so yeah it's really not about losing weight it's really just feeling good so that's what I'm thinking about y'all that is where I'm at and meanwhile my Claire's going to be upset when I go back to work yeah sorry you've been so spoiled so two days of work and then I'm home with this girl four more days and then back to normal and then we're going to have some attitude but she'll get used to it you know she was so used to my mother being home all the time and Oscar but she just sleeps there's days lately though because of Angela she's been with me all the time she naps with in the same room I'm at keeps an eye on me but normally before that she would just go up to bed and that was it you didn't mess with this girl when she's napping she weren't having it Oh, you would get the growl and oh, would be so mad, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you get mad, little chunky monkey? Huh? We gotta get a little more weight off you, don't we? So Claire does not eat sugar, but I was giving her too many crunchies. So now she gets a fourth of a cup, a little under a fourth of a cup in the morning and uh, about a, 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 a tiny bit of that for the night. Yeah. But I had just had it out all the time after Oscar died, and that it made her chunky monkey. It's like candy, right? Was it like candy? She said, don't be giving my business. Don't spill my tea all over the internet. Don't be doing that. Isn't she sweet? Oh, she's so sweet. Aren't you, baby? Aren't you sweet? Are you sweet pea when you want to be? Oh, yeah. Everyone likes to see you. If you would cooperate more. We could be viral now. So that's it. It's about 8.30. Maybe I'll check in later. See how I treated myself today because really that is what it's about. How you treat yourself, you know? It's not about what you accomplish. My friend sent me this quote. Maybe I'll, I don't remember it, but it's basically in our society, you're, it's um, all about what you accomplish, right? And um, even getting healthy that or or finding peace and calm that's an accomplishment as opposed to a process and yeah you know I just didn't give myself a break it's been a shitty year good things have happened but also it's just when you lose two of your absolute favorite people who you just are part of your identity almost and just stabilizing forces you know my young one and my, my, my age one and my older one I still have so many wonderful people, and I know there's all kinds of fun stuff coming my way. And I just have to be ready to be in it, right? I can't be laying in the bed in the morning, like, hungover from sugar or, or white bread or whatever it is. So, time has come to give it a shot. So, what I'm going to do is, I have this um, wellness planner, not funny, work hard, have fun. I got this, I think, like all the at the end of the year, it was super cheap. Um, but it just has a little bit of kind of this stuff. So what do I want to do is sort of like where today I'm going to spend some time um, about how I feel. And I want to kind of compare it every day and see how I start feeling. I want to have, a, I want to sit down with this, be conscious in the morning. Um, checking myself during the day, you know, and then I want to make this a habit. Um, and I know there's sometimes I know when I'm, I'm on something like there's a piece, there's a second where I can go stop, let's stop and have a minute. And I think it's that five minute. Who told me about the five minute? Is it the five minute rule? When you first wake up, you go five, four, three, two, one, and that helps your brain not grab onto and want to stay in bed. So I'm trying to do that now. Like, 
whatever it is, my back twinges. Bless you, sister. Oh my goodness, puppy, are you okay? Hey, baby, are you okay? Huh? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, she's gonna be so mad. Hold on. Oh, you're not gonna. Just say hi, everyone. Just to make it look. Tell them how sweet you are. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't see your blue eyes. Why do your eyes look brown when they're still blue? She goes, how embarrassing. How embarrassing you're. Just hope no cats see this. She keeps saying, oh, stop. Drama queen. That's my drama girl. That's my. Look at her look at me. She's like, oh, she's mad. It's okay. She doesn't hold a grudge. Does she? Not for long. Yeah, so that's the point of all this. Um, five, four, three, two, one. And yeah, most of my life I've overridden how I felt, right? Like it wasn't a consideration. So that takes time to change that, but it is changeable. And let's just say, even if I lived to how old Angela was, 82, I'm 57. Or, you know, I live to 85, 90, whatever. Oh, so sweet. Or 60, right? I mean, I want to go out loving myself and being as kind to myself as I've ever been to. You know, if I could love myself the way I loved these niece and nephew when they were young, I can't even tell you how my heart swelled. How much. I just, I think I'm probably as gotten as healthy as I have because of loving them. It's broken through so much stuff I had guarded my heart with, but. Yeah, so anyway, I guess I'll take you on that journey with me. And I um, mean, it is a journey, and we'll see where the, the roadblocks are, the the don't go, try not to go off a cliff. I feel like I'm off the cliff right now, actually. And uh, just kind of bring you along with me and see what you think. And um, but this book is called The 10-Day Green Smoothie Cleanse. And she's it's really interesting, and she's done a really good job of you know, talking about why, what does what, and, you know, do this for this, and you, know, you can modify it, you can have, you know, you can have fruit and vegetables, um, you can have a uh, hard-boiled egg, chicken, like a, you know, grilled chicken, like you can have a modified version of it. But I really, you know, of course, part of me is like, no, I want to do it, I want to do it right, I want to follow it completely. But maybe if a, mod of, a modified version is better than no versions, right, Claire? Claire's like, God, could you ever stop talking? Claire's got really dry skin. Yes. I don't think I've given you a good brush lately, have I? So that's it. So I'll check in with you guys tonight, maybe. And we'll see about not what I've accomplished, though my whole series is about accomplishing. And that's fine. It's not like you don't want to accomplish anything, but is that the most important thing? Check in and tell you how I took care of myself and how, you know. Um, yeah. Pretty wonderful thing to struggle through is how to love yourself more, how to be kind to yourself, how to cherish yourself, and, uh, you know, really, all the things that you would want to do for another person, you got to learn to do for yourself, right? And then one day if I want to meet someone that I want to share that with, I can't be looking for that person to give me love of myself and cherishing myself and kindness. I really do think once that's how you live, and some people, this is just how they live, you know, they grew up that way and you're not that people don't have struggles and traumas and tragedies. I don't know. I don't know. It's just different. But okay, guys, thank you. Oh, and I got to wash my hair and see blow dry. I, I would really, if I wasn't working tomorrow, I would go another day because the longer you go without washing it, the better it is for the color, but wash my hair and see how I do. Making it, you know, we'll see. But yep, a headbands, no more ponytails as a headband. The ponytails have been really super hard on my hair, so it's time for a change. All right, guys, I'll check in later. Have a good one. Bye.